It's me, Drew Badu. As you can see, I'm dressed as a donkey. That's because I love to pretend. I'm pretending to be an astronaut. I'm pretending to be my dad. Did you pick up your toys? I'm pretending to race a car. I'm not pretending to just be any old donkey. This one is special. Watch this. Eeyong! Hi everyone. You probably think donkeys can't talk and you'd be right most of the time, but I do. Eeyong! The Bible really has a true story about a talking donkey. Listen, my story starts with a group of people called the Israelites. The Israelites were God's special people. They used to be slaves in Egypt. After they traveled for a long time, they camped at a place called Moab. You know who didn't like them living in Moab? The king of Moab, a man named Balak. The king was nervous because he knew the Israelites were God's special people. And he heard God was super powerful. Yeah. So, King Balak had a plan. He sent messengers to a man named Balaam. Balaam is my owner. He was a prophet. That means he was a messenger of God. The king's messengers asked Balaam several times to put a curse on the Israelites. Finally, God told Balaam to go with the messengers. So he hopped on my back and off we went. Donkey power! Because God cared for his people, he wanted to remind my owner not to curse the Israelites. So God sent an angel. Balaam couldn't see the angel, but guess who could? That's right, me, just an old donkey. I saw the angel. I didn't want to walk right into it. Also, it was kind of scary. But since Balaam didn't see it, he kept trying to make me go forward. Go forward! He got really upset with me. And that's when it happened. God gave me a voice. I said, what have I done to you? Why are you mad at me? I'm the one you've always ridden. Have I ever made you look foolish before? Hey, it's me, Drew, here to remind you that all of this is totally true. Wait till you hear what happens next. My owner was amazed that I spoke. Hi. Wow. But not as amazed as when the angel finally appeared to him. Hello. Hi. The angel reminded him not to curse the Israelites, even though that's what the king wanted. And when Balaam got to the king, that's exactly what happened. The king was like, Hey Balaam, can you curse the Israelites so I can beat them in a battle? And Balaam was like, No way king, I cannot curse these people. I can only bless them, because that is what God is telling me to do. Well, uh, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not exactly the last thing the king said but he wasn't happy, that's for sure. God had a plan for his people, and it wasn't going to let the king of Moab get in his way. And God's the same today. He has a plan for all of us. We may not be able to see God or understand his plans, but he always keeps his promises, and God's good plans cannot be stopped. <sighs> that's it for me. Whew. Pretending to be a donkey can be pretty tiring. It's time to pretend to be something else. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I'll pretend to take a nap. Bye.